Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nidhi and you're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. When we talk about the age, uh, it's one of the qualifying criteria for you to be able to apply for any airline and uh, because of that, all the airlines make it a point to actually mention it on their website whenever they put up a job opportunity uh, stating very very specifically what is the age uh, or the age group that you should be in uh, when you're applying for any particular airline maybe a local airline maybe an international airline now uh, let's understand to be employed by any organization may it be an airline or may it be a non-airline uh, you have to be 18 years of age because that is the minimum uh, requirement for any organization to employ you and that goes without saying for an airline industry as well so uh, as long as you're minimum 18 uh, you are eligible to apply for a lot of airlines now again depending upon certain rules that uh, these airlines have when they're hiring candidates especially from overseas uh, this requirement changes now uh, some airlines do mention the age group for example if you go to Vistara and you look it up on uh, and you look up on their website they specifically mention uh, that you have to be within certain age group uh, to be able to apply for uh, a cabin crew job with their uh, airline but if you look up uh, Singapore Airlines or Qatar Airways they only mention the minimum age they do not talk about the maximum age now the question that a lot of you usually ask me is uh, since there is no maximum age mentioned am I eligible uh, to go for the interview yes by all means technically and practically you are eligible to go for the interview because it does not say that if you're 35 you cannot attend the interview or if you're 38 you cannot attend the interview for that matter of fact technically you can go for the interview because there is no maximum age specified on the website of that particular airline now the real question here is uh, if you are above a certain age uh, is that uh, is that a no-go because of your age when it comes to uh, the airline selecting you? Uh, also, let's understand that uh, when an airline is hiring a cabin crew, uh, they want someone who is going to represent the airline. Uh, that person is going to be the face of the airline. So obviously, uh, the airlines do look for someone who is um, younger, will probably stay with the company for a longer period of time. Definitely do want to go for people who are uh, younger looking or for that matter of fact, younger in age. Uh, and of course, uh, because from that perspective, they would be willing to spend a good amount of time with the airline because they're still young. Uh, they might not have any plans to uh, set up a family because they're young. Uh, they wouldn't want to get married at this point in time. So they will be able to focus on cabin crew as a career because uh, let's understand when you're a cabin crew with an airline you'll be traveling all around and because of that you basically can't spend a lot of time with your family and uh, for people who are above a certain age uh, let's say about 25 and above usually is the time when you want to settle down in your life when you want to have children uh, when you already know what your career is going to be all about uh, so from that perspective usually uh, most airlines restrict their cabin crew from the age of 18 to about 27 to 28. But nonetheless, because some of the airlines do not mention it on their website, uh, by all means, you can go for the interview. But if you were to ask me, will that reduce your chances of getting selected? I'm going to give you a very, very honest answer here. Uh, well, uh, it really, really depends on your personality, how you present yourself, because I do know of people who have been hired by the airline at the age of 28 and 29 as well and again uh, some of the airlines want you to have certain amount of experience as well so if you have certain experience in a given airline or for that matter of fact if you have certain experience uh, in customer service again uh, that increases your chances when it comes to uh, your age just to clarify a little bit here uh, again a lot of airlines do mention only the minimum age but at the same time they also tell you what is the educational qualification they need you to have so for example if Singapore Airlines puts it on their website that you have to be minimum 18 years of age but at the same time they also tell you that you need to be uh, you need to have a certain degree or you need to have a certain diploma so logically let's understand if you're 18 years of age there is a high chance that you might not have that degree or diploma so please please go ahead and look up 
the requirements on the website very carefully, read through the entire requirement, understand it a little bit logically, and then go ahead and apply for the job. Uh, that's going to save you a lot of effort of asking other people why, whether you should go for the job or not. At least you will know whether uh, you are eligible to go for the job. So um, I hope uh, this video is informative enough to be able to address the question about aid. Please do remember to share this information with other cabin crew aspirants. Do remember to like the video and uh, also do remember to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell for more video updates. And uh, you all know that I do a lot of personal coaching. Uh, I've recently launched my group coaching uh, classes as well. Uh, you can go ahead and look up the details on my website and do get in touch with me. I'll be happy to coach and guide you. And in the meantime, all of you out there, stay happy, stay pretty, and uh, stay handsome. I love you guys. Bye.